Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today's video, guys, we're going to be opening up two different packages. One comes from Milwaukee, Oregon. The other one comes from Burbank, California. How about that? Then we're also going to be and we're also going to be redoing or cleaning up this queen knife. The tip is a little rounded right there. But we're going to be uh, forming that tip on that blade, giving it a new edge. But it's a beautiful looking knife. Great snap. Can't wait to do this one. It's a two-bladed knife, jack knife. Very cool. Can't wait to do this knife. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you all for tuning in today. And I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, here are the two packages. We're going to be opening up the one from Milwaukee, Oregon first. We're going to see what they sent. Again, guys, this is that queen knife right here. It's got the shield on it. But you can see close up that it's rounded off. We're going to be giving it a nice new tip. We're going to be coming from the bottom up and just give it a nice new edge. It's going to be a beautiful knife. And this one will be in the next auction sometime in a few weeks very cool knife we're fixing to open this this one up from uh milwaukee oregon hey it says hello kevin i have been meaning to send you these items along to you for a while now and close are some items for upcoming auctions they're Chinese manu manufacturer, but are still brands that seem to be light in the EDC community. There are some part knives for you, including a new spring for that U.S. military four blade that needed a new spring. Well, good. I'm, I'm about to do that one. Also, I'm going to close a Zippo for you. Fill it up, and it's ready to rock and roll. There are a few Marine Corps items for you to enjoy. My older brother was in the 3rd Marines who served two tours in Vietnam between 1966 and 1968. Buddy, thank you for his service, man. I hope he's still around. I'm going to thank him for his service. He was stationed up in Chile for both tours and managed to earn a Purple Heart during that time. Oh, man. Hoorah. He still managed to attend the Marine Corps Ball every now and then. Well, buddy, tell him I said thank him for his service. Appreciate his, his service, man. I sincerely thank you for your service. Well, I appreciate that, buddy. There are too many people in this country today that don't understand that freedom isn't free, and it is paid by for all, and it is paid for by Americans willing to spill their blood and others to have it. I was an early subscriber to your channel and have to say thank you for re reigniting my interest in USA Made folders. Keep up the great work, my friend. The other Kevin. Well, Kevin, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you thanking me for my service, and I want to thank your brother for his service. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Y'all excuse the rain, y'all. It's 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 raining right now. These two are for the auctions. We'll open these first. The U.S. military knife. Yep, it's got a spring. That's a 1975, y'all, and that blade ain't really hurt that bad. Another parts knife. Thank you for this, man. Very cool. It's a Boy Scout or Cub Scout Camillus knife. This knife's in pretty good shape. Bend a little bit right there. You see, that's got that long line under Camillus. That means from 1960 all the way up to about 1975. Hoorah. The Frontier. Very cool, man. That's a Sabre Japan. The blades are whittled down, son. Parts knife. China made. 
That's a Boca tree branch. Parts knife. That's a, a USA made knife right there. Very cool, buddy. It's a zippo right here. Very cool. Cedar Rapids. What year is this? Man, it's got some age to it. Three and three. Let's look at the reference card. So you got three stripes on the left over here and three stripes down there on the right. That's a 1968, y'all. That's an awesome, awesome lighter. Oh, yes, sir. about that? First lick. Hoorah. Kevin, thank you for this lighter, buddy. I love it. Again, that's a 1968. Hoorah. Check out this stuff here. Look at that, y'all. Wow. I love that, man. I love that a lot. I'm going to wear, wear this either on my hat or somewhere on me during the blade show in Atlanta. Very cool. Look at that, y'all. That's awesome, buddy. Thank you so much for this. Appreciate that, buddy. Just a little... Kind of made knife here. Very cool. This is a good little knife though. It's got a flat tip screwdriver, bottle opener. It's got your shears. Seems to be well made. Can opener. Fork screw. Phillips head screwdriver. And a fingernail file. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very cool, buddy. Let's see these au auction items here. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. i never seen one like that before. Wow. It's a lock blade, too. Yeah, we put this in the auction all day long, man. Very cool. I love that right there. Check this out. Wow. D2 steel right there. What is that right there? A David Shin. Never seen one of these, buddy. I might uh, research these. Very nice. Yep. That one, that, that one is going to the next auction too, buddy. I'm so sorry about this rain, y'all. Golly. That's a good looking knife too. I don't know who made this one. Don't. This knife's well made though. Dude, this is nice here. QSP. Very nice steel. Yeah, I gotta research these knives, man. Seems like it's well made. Very cool, Kevin. Thank you so much for all this, buddy. Kevin sent those knives and gifts all the way from Milwaukee, Oregon, right near Portland. 
2,891 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Kevin, I appreciate all those knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Okay, now, guys, we're fixing to open up the package all the way from Burbank, California, from Mr. Mike. Hello, Knife Doctor. My name is Mike from Burbank, California, and I'm a big fan of your videos and content. I'm a fellow knife collector myself and look to you for inspiration when adding to my personal collection. Please accept this package, including knives and a flashlight. You may choose to keep it for yourself or include it in an auction and donate the proceeds. Thank you for all that you do. Well, Mike, thank you for the, the stuff, man. Appreciate this. I really do, buddy. And it's coming all the way from California. Thank you so much, buddy. Whoa, check this out. Whoa. What is that? A through knife. This is heavy. Have to figure out open. Have to figure it out, buddy. Whoa. And more knife, y'all. Let me get everything out. Wow. How about that, y'all? A Leatherman, y'all. Check that out. Man. Very, very cool. Very cool. Look at that. How about that? Very cool, buddy. Thank you. I don't know what, what brand that is, y'all. Can't make it out, but it's a little stockman. I think it is. A serpentine knife. It might not be a stockman. Looks like one, though. It's like a Warncliffe blade, almost. Very cool. Got wood, wood handles. Awesome, buddy. Look at this right here. Wow, man. They just keep coming. That old timer, y'all. USA. Eighteen OT. Very cool. Oh, this is a little lock blade, y'all. Check that out. Needs a little, little bit of work. Wow, 1950. Check this out, y'all. Ain't that awesome? Very cool, buddy. I love these, these little knives. Thank you. Saber Japan, 1979, probably. Very cool, man. Saber made some good knives back in the day. Oh, Victoria Knox? It is a Victoria Knox. This is so awesome. Thank you so much, man. I got a spring. I can replace that spring. Very cool, buddy. This is a, just a regular classic here, but it's got metal handles. Never seen one of these with metal handles. Very cool, buddy. Thank you so much. It's got strategic air command. Very cool. Thank you, buddy. And this is a Gerber multi-tool. It's 
scissors. This is awesome, buddy. That must just be the back of it right here. Very cool, buddy. Thank, thank you for this. Sheffield, England, y'all. Whoa, check this out. This is awesome, buddy. I love this right here. Brand new, still in the box. Wow. Thank you, man. Mike. Very cool, buddy. Hmm. Get up. There are pliers for this one. That's a punch blade. You got strong spring. Then you got your toothpick. I think there's two toothpicks here. Yeah. Two toothpicks. Look at that saw, y'all. Very cool, Mike. I'm definitely going to keep this one. I know that. I love that one. Love that. Let's see what this one is. Buck USA. Now, we'll put this one in the auction next time. Very cool, buddy. Thank you so much for this. Check that out, y'all. CV. Ain't that cool? And this is a, uh, a temperature gauge and a compass. That's so cool, man. Thank you. And a more knife. I love a more knife right here. These are made in uh, Sweden, y'all. Very cool. Yeah, some of these are definitely going to auction, but I'm keeping, I'm keeping a few of them. Sure am. Thank, thank you so much for all this, Mike. Appreciate these little pouches too, buddy. Love that. Sure do. Mike sent those knives and gifts all the way from Burbank, California. 2,323 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Mike, I appreciate all those knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, buddy. Okay, guys. Now I'm fitting to take this over on my 3-inch bench grinder with my fiber wheel clean it up and i'm gonna use my sander with a 240 grit belt and reshape this point and the edge right but this is a queen jackknife pretty good shape great snap the year this thing will be up here, my book is in the, the house there. I'm thinking it's in the 90s. This um, 9105 is the model number. Very cool. And now, guys, I'm fixing to reshape this point and give it a new edge right there. Just kind of round it off. First of all, we got to clean this belt. See, it's got all that stuff on it. Ain't that cool? That's an eraser, a belt eraser. This was given to me by Hambone Blades. Y'all check his channel out. Hambone Blade.
Okay, guys, we're going to clean this up. You see all that grime right here? Yeah. It really ain't that bad. It's just it's like old grease. I can take it over there on the leather strap and, and shine these bolsters up and shine the back up real quick. Okay, here it is right here, guys. Look at the bolsters on that thing. The back. It's a great looking knife, ain't it? There's that new edge I gave it right there, see? Ain't that awesome? Great snap. Check that one out. It gave out a new edge, too. It's sharp, man. It's sharp. That's got a good snap, too. But it cleaned up really good on the inside, too. See it right there? How clean it is now. Had a bunch of old grease in it. This thing's been used now. Been well used, but it's still got a good edge on it. See that edge? I gave it right there. Ain't that awesome? Queen USA. Great knife. This will be in the next auction, guys. Awesome, awesome knife. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I had a ball cleaning this queen knife up now. It's a beautiful knife. Beautiful knife. And that will be in the next auction for Tones of Towers. And I just want to thank uh, Mike and Kevin for sending all these knives and gifts in. Thank y'all so much. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. And guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good knife.